Hey, my name is Hunter. Welcome back to a different video today. So, I'm going to show you how I make my intro. So, as you can see on screen right now, I have Panthoid. Which, if you do not know what Panthoid is, it is a thumbnail making, intro making website where you make free intros and free thumbnails. So, today, I'm going to show you how to use Panthoid. Okay, so we're just gonna go off with maybe this one, maybe maybe this one. Um, yeah, I guess leave the page. <laughs> so if I have to use uh, Microsoft Edge, so sorry if this looks a little bit weird. All right, so it should be popping up here in a second. So here's what it looks like. Now, as you can see, I can't really like tell what it's gonna really look like, but if you click this eyeball right here and you click it now you get what your uh, intro would look like to other people and what it would look like if you upload it to YouTube so uh, yeah that kind of what it would look like if you were to upload it to YouTube um, you can play slow motion So you can kind of get like a gif of like what's really happening. Uh, you can mute the sound and just kind of look at it in general. And um, last but not least, you can also like look at the wave, like the sound wave, um, how much the text will move and everything like that. So yeah, let's look at that. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of just uh, the minor stuff, though. I'd really focus on this little eye here, because then you actually get um, the view of everything. Okay, so now if you don't have a really good computer like I do, I usually have to go down to, like, 480p, which doesn't look that bad, but still. So you can even change, like, the background, like, hey, maybe I want this to be fake. Um... Or maybe people, like, maybe you don't want it to be anything, or, um, yeah, so for this, I guess we'll just go with Mars, because that's kind of what it had chosen for us. Alright, so we're going to start off with particles. So as you can see here, it shows us that we have particles, so we could change it to, like, that, and maybe that again. Okay. So that means when I play my video, the particles will look a lot different. So I guess we'll just kind of put them back at brown. There. Oh, wait, I have to do two. Okay. So, yeah. So you can, like, put number of particles, the emit array, particle lifetime, and everything like that. Now if we move on to the tech side of everything, so, um, actually, let me scroll back a bit, do that, there we go, now we're back at the very beginning, so let's just say the Polar Gaming, we'll go with that, just my YouTube channel, so, oh no, <laughs> it doesn't fit, so what I do is I drag that down until it does fit, and now that's kind of hard to read over there, but easy to read over here. So maybe if I drag my thickness down a little bit. Maybe that two, so it still has some thickness in it. And then you have a wide variety of fonts. Maybe you want to do like, you're gone. Does it fit? So then I could just do that. These, like, there's multiple options you could do for this, like, Wheeler, we'll go with that one, um, let's see, there's Ma Magical 1, uh, Minecraft Story, or Minecraft Tree, and why it's in Minecraft Story, 
But, uh, yeah, that's just kind of, like, the variety of stuff that you can use for this and everything like that. And then, uh, we'll move on to, like, this stuff. But I'm gonna have to be careful not to mess with it because it's an intro that I'm actually gonna download. So, uh, this is fisheye. Let's get rid of it. Alright, so if we got rid of fisheye, then this is what it would look like. So yeah, there's nothing that like, you know, bounces up or at us or anything like that. So we're gonna put fisheye back. I actually don't know if there's a way to move it. Oh crap, I just duplicated it. So uh, yeah, now this is uh, kinda what it looks like. Even though I think I screwed it up, which I feel like I did. But, uh, yeah, so I'll just add fisheye back. And then, you know, there's, like, negative color, so maybe I want it to negative, and... Oh, my God, that actually kind of looks like it, like in a cold region. <laughs> and may maybe I want, like, duplication. Like, maybe I want it to, like, duplicate a bunch. Ugh. Beautiful. Okay, but maybe I don't want all the duplication. Maybe I only wanted to like duplicate that, but I don't want that. And then the color correction, which kind of makes everything look a little darker, which I don't really recommend using. And then there's all this stuff, which I'm not gonna mess with because I feel like I will mess the shake up a lot. Oh yeah. Um, there's uh your song that you have, you can actually select the song and put it in there, uh, you can have a start offset, which, like, let's say one second, good enough, here, we'll do that, do that, um, fade in, well, it'd be like three seconds, it's gonna take three seconds to fade in, And I've already messed everything up. So, yeah, that's just kind of, um, the video making of it. Then after that, you know, I just kind of download it, do all that stuff. Uh, you can fast render, that quality render, megabyte, stuff like that. Number of encoding threads, which I don't know what that is. Information, all that stuff. So, I'll see you guys when I get to the background stuff. Alright, and we're back. Sorry, I had to make sure my mic was on. I actually didn't know. Oh god, it's probably something I should check before I actually restart the recording. So this is not the backgrounder, I know. But this is the other clip maker if you want crappy quality, I guess. So yeah, this is the really bad quality stuff. Like, really, I, I'm not kidding you. Like, here, we'll use this one for example. Um, this doesn't have any music to it. So, yeah, like, none at all. And here's what it would look like from your from people's perspective. Which, that is kind of hard to read. So, first of all, we'll put that down a little bit. And we'll make that a little bit longer. May maybe making it longer. No, okay. So, yeah, I guess if I make it longer, it still goes up at the same time. So, I have to make it three seconds, no matter what. Alright, so maybe I want a scene, so, outdoor, um, it'll be a full moon, and, sunset, alright, good enough, alright, object one, what's object one, alright, so yeah, you can just kind of change these to whatever, so I want to change it to, you know, the polar gaming again, the polar gaming, Okay, finally, scene work. Um, let's actually have a beat space. And then we can, you know, like, let's play it again. Okay, so I need the side to go down. So we push the little arrow. Do that. And then, voila. 
Um, if we push the gale, or actually the tector, though tector, that is what it would look like. Though, yeah, if we have pixelated on, um, kind of make it look a little weird and pixelated. Um, if you were to do that, though, I would recommend that you just kind of do a, a, a white, maybe. Just so then you can, like, really see it in space. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, you can change, like, you know, the pixel size. Like, how you want the pixel to look, kind of, I guess. And, like, maybe you don't want the pixel at all. Or maybe you want it to look like that. But, uh, yeah, then there's, like, the need for the pixel. So, like, where the pixels are placed. There's the effect, like that like maybe you want it to be like that so you can just go whoop camera sequence um look at it and then like if there's any rotation that's bothering you then just like i guess get rid of it like don't don't if you don't like rotation don't have rotation in it so yeah that's the crappy version of it and I'll see you in Backgrounder. And we're back in Backgrounder. So as you can see here, they got a nice wide variety of templates. Um, so yeah. You would also uh, insert an image. So let's go find an image. Okay, I'm back. I got my image. So, <coughs> sorry about that. So, what you do is you go find an image, you know, save it. You go into here and you click select. Layer 1, uh, there should be an upload an image thing, which, crap, I just messed up. There we go. And then, uh, after that, you select, find your image, and then you can, like, fill, um, there's custom. You can see there. I kind of like to always fill it, and then after that, you can go into basic. Maybe I want it to be like a channel avatar. Um, maybe I want it to be a thumbnail for my video. Maybe I want it to be like my Twitter cover, or my Facebook, or, or my or a video frame, or yeah, whatever. Um, uh, whatever you kind of want it to be. I don't know what a video frame is, though. So let's go with thumbnail. Thanks, we'll make the thumbnail for the video live. Ooh. So you go to overlay, you know, maybe like one well, channel shadow, which is oh oh cool, Lawrence is done. Um I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see here we have our sprite. Um so maybe I want it to be like dead center in the middle there. Alright, so, there is actually a lot of options to choose from, uh, let's see here, um, comic book, kind of like comic stands, um, may maybe I'm, like, feeling really happy, so let's do Jane Manatee Solid, oh, okay, well, he wasn't gonna call me anyway, oh, I feel like I'm lonely now, alright, so let's just have it be, Tutorial on how to you dub to the poor phoenix. No, oh, God. <laughs> All right, then I'm leaving a channel in the description below. Pandoid. So yeah, this is um. You kind of turn it into there, and then you do that, and then there you go. You got your text. Um. So, yeah, and then, uh, you can change, like, the size of it, like, maybe, maybe I don't like it being at 70, maybe I want it to be, like, 100, or, or 150, or, or a million, <laughs> just kidding, just, just kidding, why, why, but why, though? Alright, so maybe I want it to perfectly fit the screen, alright, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 25, 27, alright, so right about there it should do, and, um, you know, I'm not really digging that color, maybe, maybe, um, yeah, let's actually change the color to black, what black would look like, alright, yeah, that, that could work, 
and then we go to tech border and stuff like that. You know, you got like that. Um, you can have like the thickness of it, in which I'm going to make the thick, or I'm going to make the color white around it. You can kind of see it. Or, or maybe I want it to be like a light blue. It may be like a nice light. Oh crap! <laughs> All right, so maybe I want it to be like a really nice light blue. Do that, and then do that, and then voila. So, uh, yeah, I actually have never really figured out how to use this, um, oh, yeah, I actually know how to, so maybe I want this to be red, do that, do that, and then, like, you know, you can do that, so it kind of, like, gives off a glow. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video and you want to use Panthoid, I'll leave it in the description. Sorry guys, um, about that cut off there, I, for I forgot to, you know, kind of let it go so I could cut that part out, but, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video, goodbye.